Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and today I'll be showing you how to add a drop shadow to text or pretty much any layer or object inside of Affinity Photo. Here I am inside of Affinity Photo. You can see my text here in this graphic has a drop shadow, so that's what we'll be working on today. So I'll start by hitting Control N on the keyboard to create a new document. I'll just go with the default size here for my document and click Create. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is grab my text tool here from the toolbox. So I'll go with Artistic Text Tool. And I'm going to click on my composition with this text tool. And with my caps lock key on, I'll type Drop. Hit the Enter key to start a new line. And type Shadow. So I'll hit Control A to select all the text. It's obviously very small right now. If I come up top here to the context toolbar, I can change the size of my font. So let's go with a much bigger font size there. And of course, I can change the actual font, uh, the style itself. So let's go with all round gothic. And I'm just going to justify this to the center and also use the alignment feature here to align this to the center of the composition and click apply. All right, now that we've done all that, let's add the drop shadow effect. So over here in the effects tab, you might be here in your layers tab to start with, but over here in the effects tab, you're going to see an effect called outer shadow. So that is your drop shadow effect. And you're gonna to wanna to scroll down here until you see all the options for this tool. So You've got a variety of options here. The one you're gonna to wanna to start with, I would say, is the offset tool. So if you click on that, that's a little button, and it's gonna change your mouse pointer so that you have these two overlapping squares here. So once you have that on your mouse cursor, that means you have the offset tool ready to go. And what you can do is just click and drag this in any direction, and you're gonna see a drop shadow is going to form here. And it just gives you a lot of control over where you can place the drop shadow. So. Really, you can just eyeball this and release, and now you have a drop shadow. You're gonna see over here the two settings that are gonna change while you drag your mouse around with the offset tool are gonna to be the offset slider. So this is how far the drop shadow is offset from the original text position. And you also have the angle slider, so that's just like the direction of the uh, drop shadow itself there. You can see I can click and drag this manually if I want to. But as long as you have the offset tool selected, you can manually set this to whatever. And obviously, once you're ready, just release your mouse. So there are additional settings up top here, starting with the color. So that's going to be the color of the drop shadow itself. If I click on here, there is a little drop down, and you will see a variety of different color options here to choose from. So you've got RGB sliders, CMYK, if you're going to use this for print. You've got hue, saturation, lightness, etc. So I'm just going to go with RGB sliders, and this option is going to give me a red, green, and a blue slider, which I can use to select my color. Or, of course, an easier option is to just click and drag your mouse along this little color box here. And let's go with maybe like a bluish shadow here like that. You can also use the little color picker tool here. So I can drag this with my mouse and just hover this over any color. Of course, we've only got two colors here, so this isn't gonna help us for this composition in particular, but it is a feature there that you can use. So I'm going to click the color box there to collapse that. The next option is the opacity. So this is how opaque, if I go to the right, or transparent, if I go to the left, that you want your drop shadow to be. So 100%, that's gonna be fully opaque. So you could see here the blue color is showing up nice and rich there. Uh, but if I drag this down, it's gonna make this more transparent. So let's just drag this up to around 64. And the next option is the radius. So right now there is no radius applied to this, which means it's gonna have a hard edge. However, if I add some radius to the drop shadow here, that's gonna give it a softer edge. So this can really you know, change the light source, the look of a fictitious light source, obviously. But by increasing the radius there, we're making the drop shadow softer, and therefore we're making the light source softer. Or if we go to the left, uh, that's going to make this harder. Obviously, the higher this number is here, the softer this is going to be. So if you don't want any softness added, just set it to zero. Otherwise, you can add a little bit there. And actually, let's decrease the opacity. And then the offset and the angle we already went over, although you may have seen, you can actually click on this number here and you can manually set the angle. 
So if you have an angle in mind that you want to set this to, just type it in, hit the enter key, and that will update that. So this is a non-destructive filter, so you can come back at any time and adjust this. Or if you wanted to turn this off, you can come up top here and uncheck this, and that's going to turn the effect off. But that's how you add a drop shadow in Affinity Photo. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out my website at profotovector.com. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.